So to do a cumulative frequency graph, you're going to first of all add a running total or cumulative frequency uh, uh, part to the table. And you could label it as cumulative frequency because it means the same thing. And we're going to just add the frequencies as we go along. So 10 to start off with. Then we add 25, so that's 35. And then we add 15, so that's 50. Then on our graph, we're going to plot at all the maximums, but we are going to start at the zero there. Now be careful, it's not always zero, but on this one it is. So at 20, we're going to plot 10. Now this is going up in fives, so 10 would be here. Uh, then at 40, we're going to go to 35. And then at 60, we're going to go to 50, like so. Now you've got an option here. You can either join them up with a curve or join them up with straight lines. Now technically speaking, you should use a curve, but you'll always get the marks for straight lines. So if you, uh, if you have a teacher that says you have to use a curve, then that's up to them and that's up to you. Uh, but on the mark schemes, you always get the mark for straight lines. But the important thing to realize is with cumulative frequency, you always plot at the maximums of each of the groups.